Tony got an app, but he's not even jet lagged. I'm not even jet lagged. I'll probably say things really well. <laughs> yeah. I'd say. So you take it then. Did you guys sit with anyone fun or? Um, my team, because they, they split everybody up from the movie, so it was um, Rodrigo Prieto, which was incredible, nice. and Bradley, and yeah. and then we were just kind of all bouncing around. Oh, and John Baptiste. Oh, cool. Uh, John Baptiste. Oh, is that the P? Nice. Which doesn't exist. Uh, yeah. Um, we great. had Emily Blunt, but also Lucky. we had this guy, Gustavo, who, Society of Snow, yeah. He was one of the people on the plane. He's like this old man now. I met him. You met him? Yeah. He was so excited. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. As you would be, because he lived as well. <laughs> so that was it. So, Emma, I mean, you guys have both kind of done the circuit before at this point, and obviously it's been a few years since your first Oscar. Talk to me about kind of how your uh, sort of mindset has changed this time around. I, I'm just so excited about more things and um, for there are so many people from our film that get to be here and um, so I don't know it's just kind of like focusing on that and, and we all really love this this movie so and Tony um, talk to me a little bit about like the writing process for you and your girls this time around it's pretty simple it's always the same it's like we talk about it a little bit and then I go away and write something and then it's just like this process over a few years of like a few notes and I just we keep kind of I improving it and just going back and rewriting and as we get closer he kind of works out what he wants to look look like and we kind of adjust to that and but yeah it's all usually like the same a lot of lunches a lot of lunches it's actually I should have just said we have lunch the lunches and then at the end of lunch it's like we have nothing else to do and then he goes maybe we should talk about it <laughs> oh we go, lost oh, the light uh, we're losing the light how Too much star life. power. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Hey, poor things were my favorite movie this year, and I know there's been like questions about sort of the um, people giving flack about like you know it, the feminine like sexuality and stuff like that. And um, I saw the interview with you and Yorgos kind of talking about the ways that people are bringing the wrong expectations to storytelling. No, I mean no, I, I would never say that someone's uh, doing movies wrong at all. I think it's it's more just um, the, the hope that, uh, you know, because this is kind of a twisted fairy tale that it wouldn't be taken literally. Um, but anybody's, you know, thought about it or, or opinion about it is, is completely valid. I think that that's, you know, uh, Yorgos loves stories, and I think Tony too, that I, I would think, based on what I've seen I you do. do, where there are kind of more, it leaves things more open-ended or more questions than answers, and so I think no one would want to tell anybody what to feel. But for, for you, I guess, you're comfortable with like ask, coming to movies that are asking questions rather than feeling like they need to preach at an audience. Yeah, completely. I mean, I, I really, I, I love that kind of storytelling, which is probably why I'm drawn to, to these, these projects. But... Um, but yeah, no, yeah. it's all. Yeah, I think in the same way, like the audience should, we, you can't have an opinion about the audience and what they get from it. I think it's also like we can't have, we can't be trying to serve what an audience decides, what a portion of an audience decides is okay to show. As an artist, you've got to be like, this is what we think the truth of this experience is, and just go with it. And then it's like, you know, in the same, you know, it's a two-way street. Kind of. And then, Emma, I know you've been really making the rounds and getting a lot of praise and everything. I'm curious, like, how, as you sort of make your way closer to Oscars, you're kind of staying grounded. Are you having a way of, like, incorporating any sort of yoga? No, it's, it's, it's easy to stay grounded. I have, a, I have a rash all over my face right now because I, I tried to do a papaya enzyme mask, which <laughs> apparently I'm allergic to. So even if I were to think, like, oh, wow. Things are really looking up. That, I'll just get a full body rash. <laughs> you look great. So, right? Thank you. you. Look great. Yeah, you Don't do zoom in. <laughs> the texture <laughs> is wild, and we really slapped on the makeup. <laughs> is it the first time you used the mask? Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Don't try any new things. That's what I'll tell you. Right. That's, good. The, that's, that's the a good takeaway. Don't try, Don't new try things. it on the big day. Just do the same old, same old. Slap a little Cetaphil on and call it a day. <laughs>